How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through my five favorite bicep exercises. Okay, so first movement we've got is probably the biggest, most classic curl bicep-based movement, which is an Olympic barbell curl. Yes, we're curling in the squat rack and all that, but hey-ho, my gym, my rules. Um, what you really wanna be focusing on with this, as you would with any of these curls, is getting a full stretch at the bottom of the movement, a full contraction at the very, very top. And uh, yeah, you'll see here that I'm trying to keep my body locked in position as best as I can. We're not swaying too much at all. As I'm hitting the bottom of the movement, I'm thinking about trying to almost contract my tricep. And if I do that, then it's a sign that my bicep is in a nice stretched position. And then I'm trying to get a split second hold at the very, the very top of the movement. The next movement we've got, similar to the first movement, is a we're using an EZ bar attachment on the cable and doing a curl, uh, a curl in a similar way, but instead of using obviously just a bar for tension, we've got the cables to give us constant tension throughout. It's always the big bonus of using a cable-based movement. This is a variation as well where I can use the D handles and I really like this then for being able to just loop them over the bar, get a rotation at the top of the movement and then drop down into a hammer grip at the bottom of the movement. So if you've got some D handles and an EZ bar at your gym, give that a little go. It's a nice little change up just so that you can hit both the inner and outer head of the biceps fully. The next movement we've got is a single arm cable preacher curl. You can do this on the preacher curl machine that most gyms will have, um, but being in my home gym here, I haven't got a preacher curl, unfortunately, but I can set up the same kind of movement using a bench and the cables themselves. You can see here, I'm trying to, again, get a full stretch at the bottom of the movement, full squeeze with a split second hold at the top where I'm really trying to get a good mind-muscle connection, thinking about squeezing hard, uh, squeezing hard on the bicep. And yeah, it's kind of the theme with all these movements. Plenty of control, plenty of power, split second squeeze at the top of each of these curls. This is a, again, a big classic movement, alternating dumbbell curl with a hammer grip position at the bottom and a supinated grip at the top. Apologies for the camera going in and out. I don't know if it's the spotlights, the strobe lights or what, throwing it out, but never mind, you get the idea. We're trying to turn into that supinated position, back into a hammer grip at the bottom. You've got to be very disciplined not to sway too much. You do want to lean into the side of your body that's curling up very slightly, but you don't want to start swaying around and that's what's going to happen if you go a little bit too heavy on that weight. So be humble and make sure and use a weight you can manage without kicking your body around too much. This is the last movement we've got, which is a incline supinated alternating dumbbell curl. Really like this movement for, well, you don't have to worry about the swaying like you might have had to on the previous movement because you're obviously fixed in in that incline position on the bench. You can let your shoulders drop right back into the bench so you can get a nice, you'll, you'll almost feel a stretch across the chest actually in this position. Um, and that's a nice sign. The shoulders are really nice and pinned back. And this angle here just shows how much we're looking to extend the arm at the bottom of the movement and keep it fixed whilst the other one is curling up. Same thing as all the movements though. Big squeeze at the top, nice full stretch at the bottom. Kick the tricep in at the bottom of the movement to know you've got a nice full stretch. And yeah. There you go, biceps. So there you go, there's my top five exercises. If you wanna grow some big biceps, give them a go. Let me know how you get on. Drop a comment, a like, a subscription would be great. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.